Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about turtle graphics. Uh, turtle graphics is uh, based on work of Seymour Papert. Uh, this is a, a fairly old idea that was designed to make computing more concrete and simpler to understand, uh, especially for children. Uh, but it's actually a very useful kind of uh, graphical interface that's different from the one we've been using, which is based on Cartesian coordinates, you know, the XY plane. Uh, now we're going to use the metaphor of a, a turtle that walks around on paper and drags a pen, and we can give commands to the turtle to go forward, turn left, turn right, and uh, through these commands, we will draw lines on paper. And this is a very different kind of interface because now everything is kind of relative to where you are, where the turtle is, as opposed to relative to um, zero, zero in the uh, Cartesian coordinate system. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to go to the website you see here and under instructions, I'm going to go down to the last item which says turtle graphics and click on that and that brings us to the turtle graphics page at uh, or near the top of the page there is a uh, list of turtle commands so this is the pretty much the full interface to turtles and we'll be introducing these commands one by one uh, the second thing you come to is the actual implementation of Turtle Graphics. So unlike a lot of other code we've used with P5.js, where those functions are just automatically included into our program, in the case of Turtle Graphics, we have to explicitly include this code into our program. Now we could go and modify index.html to include the, this turtle code, uh, but then that would require another template, and then we'd have to think about where to put this file and so on. So we're just going to do the easiest possible thing, which is just simply copy all, all of this code into our program. So to copy it, I'm going to go to the copy icon here and click on it, which will select everything. And then I'm going to uh, use my copy command, which is command C on a Mac. So I've copied the code, and now I will go to uh, sketch.js file, which I have all set up and ready to go here, and I will do command V or paste, and there it is. There is all the turtle code, which we don't have to read, we don't really have to even look at. So I'm going to draw or type a, uh, a row, a big row of slashes, which is just a, a comment line, to as a reminder to, you know, don't go below this line. Uh, we can do everything above the line and just refer to the code. So we can enter our normal setup and maybe draw functions. So here's setup, and I guess we should create a canvas. So let's create a canvas. I'll make it 400 by 400. Uh, let's draw the background. Um, okay, and now we're ready to go with turtles. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a turtle. So let's, uh, I'm going to call it TTL so I can type it faster. Uh, we have some other examples where it's called my turtle which is fine. Anything you want to call this thing. Uh, so um, we're going to make a turtle. Make turtle. And we give the turtle an initial location, which I will just say is 100, 100. Um, the next thing we can do is um, tell the turtle to put the pen down. That means uh, down on the paper, not set it aside. Uh, so this means we will we will start making marks if we move. And so let's move. Let's go forward 100. And I think that's enough code. So I'm going to save this and uh, go back 
over here where I'm all ready to load this program and we will load it and sure enough uh, I hope you can see this we have a, uh, a horizontal line beginning at 100 100 and the turtle moved to the right by 100 pixels and left this mark behind okay so we could uh, let's see, uh, we could change the color of the turtle, of the pen, to, let's say, blue. And uh, we could set the weight, GHT, uh, to make it thicker lines, which might show up better on the video. So I think I'll do that and reload. And... Good. Now we get a nice thick blue line. Well, let's go even thicker just for fun. Okay. Um, so let's try something else. Let's uh, let's say uh, we will um, turn right by 90 degrees, and let's say. Um, we will go forward by 75, a little bit shorter. And let's go load this and run it. And sure enough, okay, so you can see over here we turned, the turtle turned right and it went 75. Good, so let's, let's keep going. Let's turn right again. Uh, this time I'm going to turn at a interesting 126.9 degrees uh, which is more than 90 degrees and let's go forward uh, by 125 pixels and take a look at that load and so you can see we've completed a right triangle there uh, let's draw something else. Let's uh, let's go down and do something a little more advanced. Uh, draw a circle. Uh, I want to get away from uh, the coordinate 100, 100 where we started. So one thing that I could do is uh, with the turtle we can just say go to some XY coordinate. So let's go to 100, 175 and I will load that and you can see that in the in the act of going to this location I actually drew a line because the pen was down so what I will do is uh, before moving before the go to I will say pen up let me come back over here, reload. Okay, so now presumably I'm at this new location, but I'm not dragging the pen behind me. Um, all right, so let's draw a circle. Uh, one way that I could draw a circle is um, draw a series of very short lines and just work my way around the, the circle. So let's, let's say we're going to draw 100 lines. Uh, we'll do that in a for loop, so you know how to make something repeat a hundred times, just like this. Uh, so each time we want to go forward, uh, let's say three pixels, and we need to turn right. Now how far should we turn right? Hmm. If I'm going to go around in a circle, that means I should end up turning a full circle, which is 360 degrees. And if I'm going to break that down into 100 steps, that should be 360 divided by 100. Uh, so let's save that. Oh, but there's a small problem here. Um, you might want to think what it, what is this going to draw and how do I fix it? Well, it's going to draw nothing uh, because the pen is up. So let's put the pen back down and draw. Okay, so we'll go over here, load the program, and I see that 
I also forgot to make these uh, commands on the turtle. So there we go. Uh, so now we've drawn a circle. Uh, where did we? How did how did we actually draw the circle? Well, remember we were facing uh, along this line towards the upper left. We came down 75 pixels, and we're still facing towards the upper left. So when we drew the circle and turn right, we we went around in this way. Uh, what I could do before starting to draw the circle is uh, tell the turtle to face to the, toward the it were face in the angle zero which means to the right uh, so let's save that and re rerun this okay so now we start the circle at the top here we're facing to the right and we turn right a hundred times and come back around and complete the circle uh, good so now we've got a, a circle there uh, let's let's do something else using some more turtle commands um, one interesting uh, command is we can find the distance uh, of the turtle to a given point, and we can also turn towards a given point. So I think what I'm going to do is I will start where I ended up here at the top of the circle, and I will go into a loop where I turn towards this point on the triangle and also move you know some fraction of the distance uh, to this point and I'm going to do that some number of times so let's just make another loop variable uh, we will do this uh, let's say 50 times and uh, each time I'm going to I'm going to say First of all, turtle, turn toward the point at 200, 100, which, which is the coordinate here, uh, the, the right angle of this triangle. And how, how far do I want to turn? I want to turn by 5 degrees in that direction at most. Okay, uh, so that's what turn toward does. It says, it says uh, figure out which way I would turn in order to be facing a certain x, y point, and then adjust my angle to be this many, you know, five degrees um, closer to that angle. Uh, next, I'm going to go forward. And I could simply say move forward by 10 pixels. Maybe we'll start with that. I'll save this and we'll run it and see what happens. And so you see what happens here is uh, we, are, we are constantly turning towards this point. We never actually quite get there. And we actually zoom past the point. So. Um, instead of 10, what I'm going to do here is just say let's move by some distance. And we'll define D to be, uh, first of all, we'll ask the turtle what is the distance to location 200, 100, and we'll divide that distance by 10. Uh, that's kind of an arbitrary amount. Uh, I want it to be I want to take uh, fairly small steps, but not so small that I never get there. And we'll uh, try this again. And so now you see, you know, we're slowly t stepping towards the circle and uh, slower and slower. And so the radius is actually uh, getting smaller and smaller until we're facing directly. And then we just go straight to the to the point. So um, now you've learned about uh, the basics of turtle graphics, you can set the size and the color of the pen, you can put the pen down, you can move. You can move forward uh, to the right. There's also a turtle dot left uh, to turn left by some angle. Uh, you can also go directly to an XY coordinate. And uh, that's about it for drawing commands. There's a few more that you can read about in the uh, on the 
uh, instruction page for turtles uh, over here. In fact, uh, let's let's take a look at, at what's left. We have a back command, which is just the opposite of forwards. It goes backwards. And we can also, in addition to asking for the distance to an object, we can query the turtle to see what is the angle between my current heading and some location x, y. And then uh, finally, we can query for the distance to some object, and we can turn toward uh, some location. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now, just for fun, is I'm going to change uh, the destination to mouse x, mouse y. So we'll do the same thing here, mouse x, mouse y for distance to. I'll leave the rest of this code the same. And uh, since I'm using mouse x, mouse y, I want to um, uh, put this inside, a, inside the draw command. So we are going to change setup to simply create the canvas and we'll do all the work inside draw so that it, it uh, is, is drawing the image over and over again, uh, making the turtle, drawing everything uh, on every frame so that I can move the mouse and see what happens. So we'll go over here, uh, run draw. And so now you see, ah, good. So uh, this the, the turtle is actually sort of following the mouse in some kind of interesting ways here. If, uh, depending on how great the angle is, sometimes the turtle um, kind of overshoots and never makes it to the mouse. Sometimes it's, it's fine. So we get this kind of interesting behavior and I would I would defy anyone to, to uh, think of how to write this program uh, simply using X and Y coordinates so this is an uh, illustration of, of how taking things from the perspective of a turtle or an object moving around on the plane uh, you can uh, come up with some interesting and uh, sort of non-obvious interesting behaviors now one more thing I can do, uh, let me show you. Let's go back to the code and find out where I drew that triangle. So I'm going to type uh, draw a triangle as a comment just to mark that. And uh, what would happen if we rotated uh, the, um, the turtle a bit before drawing that triangle? So I'm going to... Um, say, let's say turn left by 20 degrees, and uh, we'll save that, and you can think what you think is going to happen, and we'll go take a look. And uh, so here you see that, uh, yeah, in fact, the triangle is rotated uh, left by 20 degrees. In fact, another thing I can do is instead of uh, turning left by 20 degrees, I can turn left by frame count. So every time we draw a new frame, we'll rotate uh, one degree to the left. And you see the now the triangle is, uh, is turning, is revolving. Now you could think about comparing this to how we did rotation with p5.js. Uh, in that case, uh, we had to push the transformation matrix and um, and then do a, perhaps a translate and a rotate. And whereas when we're drawing with the turtle, everything is really relative to the turtle. So I hope uh, this has uh, been interesting and that you'll be able to make some uh, very interesting, cool programs uh, with turtle graphics and the kind of new perspective that it gives you.